The way shaft looks complex, but it is just a collection of simple parts that will need to be soldered together. There are three sections of 8mm round bar, a collection of lever arms made from 5 and 3mm flat stock, finished off with a couple of turned bosses. The bearings, although split, are also simple and are made from phosphor bronze. Each one sits atop a mild steel block. I'll kick off with the bearings, starting with two pieces of phosphor bronze drilled and pinned together. The sections of phosphor bronze are big enough for both bearings and as you can see I've already drilled the mounting holes, the outer two of which I have used to lock tight pins in place to hold it all together. From here on it's a very familiar process to find the end of the block, centre drill, drill and then ream the holes for the waste shaft. After completing one, I follow the same process for the other. The bearing blocks are just a couple of pieces of mild steel, cut to mill to size, with the mounting holes drilled through. I'll come back to these later. The various lever arms for the shaft are made from mild steel. First I drill the holes and then cut and file the outline to shape using some hardened silver steel buttons. And as you can see I make each pair as a pair to ensure that they are matched. The rods are just a simple turning exercise using some 8mm round bar. I use a single length for the longer side from which I will remove the centre section later to give the offset. My preference for soldering is not to apply the solder by hand, rather I place a small amount against the joint and let it flow once the parts come up to heat. The outer lever arms aren't quite so simple as they need to be positioned at the right angle on the ends of the way shaft. And to do this I've made a simple jig by drilling a hole at the appropriate dimension in a piece of scrap and then fitting a small piece of bar which will also pass through the hole in the end of the lever arm. The bosses for the lifting arms are a simple turning exercise. For fitting I did think about using Loctite to secure them but whilst I'm at it I decided to carry on with the soldering. To make the lifting arms I turn the end bosses from some mild steel bar and then drill a series of 6.4mm holes in some flat bar corresponding to the centres required for those bosses. I then go on to mark out the profiles on the flat bar and decide to take the easy option to bring them down to size in the milling machine. To do so I visually position the bar in the machine vise using a ruler to give clearance and then get to work with an end mill. For soldering I make another jig, this time by drilling a couple of holes in some scrap bar and fitting pins to hold the bosses at the correct centres. The flat section I clamp in place using some shim stock to give it the necessary offset as the bosses are 4mm wide and the flat bar is 3 so I need to lift it by half a mil. I've given the parts of the jig an ample coating with pencil lead and I am being sparing with both the flux and the solder so that I don't end up fixing the parts to the jig. After giving all of the parts a good clean up with some Scotch-Brite pads and emery, I fit them to the loco. 
I wasn't happy with Don's design for the bearing blocks, so I have modified them by threading the holes, which allows me to bolt the blocks to the motion bracket from the bottom, and to then fit retaining bolts, or threaded bar for now, for the bearings from the top. I have not yet soldered the lever arm for the reach rod, as Don's drawings are a bit vague here. He does specify its position with respect to the end of the way shaft, but that doesn't appear to line up to the position of the reverser at the other end of the loco, so I'm not going to fix it in place until I'm certain. You'll also notice I have not yet removed the centre section of the way shaft. I'll do that after I've soldered the reach rod lever arm. So not quite finished, but I will come back to this when I've figured out the position for the reach rod lever arm, and of course I also need to make the reach rod. Thanks for watching.